I'm Donna Betts, Clinical Research Advisor for Creative Forces. Music therapy is an integral component of rehabilitation and is highly valued by patients, families, and interdisciplinary team members in military healthcare. The compelling music therapy Creative Forces research published to date include a scoping review, small case series, analyses of secondary data, innovative music therapy protocols, and a preliminary multi-site study replicating clinical programming. Now let's hear about some of this work directly from the source. Dr. Yoka Bratt is a board-certified music therapist and is a professor and director of the PhD in Creative Arts Therapies program at Drexel University. Rebecca Vaudre is a board-certified music therapist and is the lead music therapist for Creative Forces. We're excited to share some of our research with you. Uh, we would like to highlight two studies that we have done. One is a program evaluation we conducted on a group session protocol that Rebecca developed, and it has been replicated across many Creative Forces sites. And the other study is on an analysis of songs that were written by service members. Research and evaluation is an important priority for Creative Forces. As clinicians develop music therapy protocols, it's important to evaluate them by seeking patient perspectives on their usefulness and impact. We recently published a study on a protocol of music therapy interventions that assesses cognition, motor, communication, and emotional associations. The published protocol is for a group music therapy session facilitated at the start of treatment and aimed at introducing service members to music therapy. Developing and evaluating protocols is critical to demonstrate the relevance of music therapy in healthcare, including the military and VA healthcare systems. It also helps us standardize Creative Forces clinical efforts across the network. In this study, we captured both service members and music therapists' feedback on the protocol. Service members were asked to complete a standardized evaluation form at the end of the session, and we interviewed music therapists about their perceived advantages and challenges in facilitating the protocol. Because Creative Forces sites employ both longitudinal treatment and intensive outpatient programming, it's important to test and refine these protocols across different sites. This allows us to flexibly implement them, acknowledging the clinical realities of a variety of sites using different treatment models. We embrace a think globally, act locally ideology, considering the health of the entire force while taking action as needed at our sites and accompanying communities. Two hundred and one service members completed the uh, session evaluation form. They reported that overall the session was very helpful to them. When we asked for feedback about specific session components, they thought that especially the drumming and music listening experiences were very helpful. They also appreciated the opportunity to express their emotions through the music and gain awareness of their somatic responses to the music. And as you can see from this chart here, there were really positive responses to all of the session components. The ones that they responded a little less favorably to were listening to the happy drum and verbally processing their experiences. So now that's something for us to look at to further refine the protocol and make it as optimal as possible. A really important finding was that a majority of the service members indicated that they would like to receive follow-up music therapy sessions. So that suggests that this introductory protocol helps them understand the role that music therapy can play in their rehabilitation. And it's something that was confirmed by the music therapist who we interviewed. They also thought that this protocol was important to help service members understand the benefits of music therapy for their rehab. It also gave them important information to plan future sessions in terms of how service members engaged uh, in the music and reacted to different music experiences. An important goal for Creative Forces is to increase the use of standardized protocols like this across sites. And we feel it's important that research uh, like this is done on newly developed protocols before we move forward and test these protocols in actual prospective studies that look at the impact of these music therapy protocols. Another Creative Forces-led study considered the impact of songwriting on military service members' rehabilitation. 
Songwriting is used by many music therapists in their clinical work to help clients express their emotions, their fears, joys, sorrows, hopes. We like to use songwriting in music therapy because the songs help document the treatment process. And so it's really interesting for clients to be able to look back at songs written early in their treatment to see their own process and their growth over time. To date, there is no research to our knowledge on the use of songs written by service members, so this was the first study to do so. At the time of this study, I was using songwriting in music therapy sessions. We analyzed 14 songs from individual sessions using thematic analysis. For example, this song was written by a service member who was working through a spectrum of self-perceptions post-injury. The lyrics read, I know I do not have physically visible wounds. Where do I go? What am I meant to do now? Who am I supposed to become? Reframing lyrics composed by patients can help them shift their thinking about their own experiences, ideas, emotions, and life events. Helping patients to pose difficult questions, then answer them from a strengths-based and post-traumatic growth perspective allows patients to reframe lyrics in a constructive manner. For example, this service member worked off the original lyrics that questioned identity to reflect hope for the future. Additional lyrics to the song read, The miracle about life is you will always find who you are and who you are meant to become. Either you win or you will learn, but you never lose. My life is finally feeling whole again. This reframing not only allows the patient to better understand and process their emotions and lived experiences, but it also delivers messaging more clearly to the listeners, who are often the patient's family and friends. So the songs that we analyzed helped enhance our understanding of many of the challenges that service members face as they attempt to return to duty or transition from active duty to veteran status and to reintegrate into their families and communities. The analysis of the songs led to the identification of four main themes, which I'll briefly describe here. More details are available in our publication, and you can also find the complete lyrics of some of the songs there. The first theme is related to personal struggles and barriers to recovery. The song spoke about feelings of hypervigilance, helplessness, negative self-esteem, and anger. An example of hypervigilance are the lyrics, knives in every drawer, no one will dare to come through my door. I'm always ready. I have to be. I'm always scared. The second theme had to do with challenges in their personal relationships, such as their difficulty communicating with people and their fears of losing relationships with loved ones. This was exemplified in lyrics such as, yesterday has come and gone, but where has our love gone? Has it faded like some old love song that we've all known? The third theme was about growth in personal relationships and how they really appreciated the support of their loved ones and others in the community, as indicated in this song lyric. I am thankful for my friends and family who give me support and love. When I feel I can't do something, they are here to motivate and help me out. The final theme was about resilience. So in spite of the fact that the service members shared a lot of challenges and struggles in their songs, it was remarkable to also see their resilience, their perseverance, their desire to move forward, and their hope for the future. Their songs also documented how their past hardship has led to that growth. And so these songs can inspire or motivate other service members towards growth and hope for the future. For instance, one service member wrote, making peace with my past, releasing my anger, embarking on my journey to all things better. So through these songs, service members shared with their family and friends, often for the very first time, the kind of things that they're struggling with and the emotions they're experiencing. Some of these service members also performed these songs for their community, and this played an important role in their integration into that community. Performance provides opportunities for patients to step outside of their comfort zones through structured risk-taking. They can demonstrate their skills and strengths and take pride in their creativity. Performing also helps service members recognize their own growth as a result of treatment. Patients describe performances as validating and report that it allows for expression of their inner selves while feeling connected to audiences. I 
Reintegration is a priority for creative forces. The impact of performance across micro, meso, and macro systems has been shown to reduce chronic physical and psychological pain, as well as alleviate symptoms of depression and reduce isolation, which are often precursors for suicidality. Creative Forces has successfully integrated telehealth and creative arts therapies on a continuum of clinical practice and community arts engagement using a variety of digital platforms. We capture preliminary stages of the transition to telehealth and telearts engagement in a publication about the distance delivery of creative arts therapies with a focus on music therapy. As practitioners across the country seek effective interventions for military personnel and their families, Creative Forces provides pathways for healing and meaning making as part of an integrated care approach. We're committed to pursuing research that will inform music therapy treatment with a greater degree of precision. Further success in the program's research efforts will yield new knowledge on mechanisms of change, economic and care efficiency, social emotional benefits, and implications for return to duty. We're excited about our next steps for Creative Forces music therapy research. For more information on Creative Forces clinical research, please visit us online at the Creative Forces National Resource Center website. <laughs>